don't know which one you want to use. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Today's video is all about how to perform an ear grab for stage combat. What's up Warriors? Welcome back to the channel. I hope that you're enjoying our videos. Thank you all so much for the support. We really, really appreciate it. And so if you haven't already, please remember to like, share and subscribe. So today is all about how to perform a stage combat ear grab. So let's get started. One, position. This move can be performed from pretty much any angle, but today we're just gonna stand opposite each other. This is the safest and easiest way to perform this move so you can both see what's happening. Next, decide who will be person A, the attacker, and B. Two, eye contact. You must get the timing and the reaction right for this move to work and look real. And one way to achieve this is eye contact. You are controlling the move together, so eye contact is very important. Three, the claw. Now, if you've watched our recent video on how to perform a hair pull, then you should have this technique nailed, as they're pretty similar. If you were going in to grab someone's ear, it would look like this. First, adopting a claw gesture and then once having hold of the ear, forming a fist. But for stage combat, we are gonna use the same action, going in with the claw, but before we get to the ear, closing and forming a fist, so that we place it on the ear, not grab. Four, the hold. Once the fist is placed on the ear, Person B should react by placing their hands on top of the fist like this, so that they cover person A's hands, giving you both a physical connection so that you can both react off each other. Now, the most important part of this move is that person A is not in control and person B is, meaning that they can move anywhere and person A simply has to follow. So remember, the key is to form the fist before placing it on the ear. And then for person B to cover the fist with their hands. And then it's all down to them to sell the move with the reaction and movement. Now, when you want to finish the move, person B should start to let go, followed quickly by person A almost at the same time. And remember to use eye contact to help communicate this to your partner. This will all become much easier the more you and your partner practice it. So that's it warriors, another lesson completed. Thank you for watching and I hope that you enjoy the new move. Please remember to like, share and subscribe and I'll catch you again soon. I'm gonna do a spin around. I am talking shit. We really Okay. Sorry. Don't know which one you wanna use. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore.